I've gotten a comment, literally like one comment that was like, hey bro, I need help with for loops, okay? I cannot understand for loops, which you might think like, why, what's hard about for loops? It's a for loop, like that, like, obviously, like, look, I get it, but I understand that, you know, for loops have changed and, you know, there's like different kinds, not really, but like, there's like two types of for loops that you can use, so... Look, if you're a new beginner scripter, I'll just quickly show you how to use for loops, okay? So the way you even make a for loop um, is you do for. Um, yeah, so this this kind of creates a for loop. It's not done, so it's not going to work. It's actually going to give you an error, right? But you have to understand what are you looping through. There are two types of for loops. The first type of for loop is when you're just looping a certain number of times, right? So if let's say I want to make a loop that loops... 10 times, uh, that's one type of for loop. But then the second type of for loop is when you're looping through a table, right? And the table is like a value that holds other values. So if I make a local table, which I, I can't call it a table because that's already like a thing in Roblox. So I'll just call it table var variable, right? Table variable. And then you do two, you know, squiggly brackets and you have like a value that's like one, two, three. And then like, hello. And then like false, right? So this is a table that contains values. And if I were to do a for loop, like th through this table, then it would loop through each value. So first it would be looping through one, two, three, then looping through hello, then looping through false. And every time it loops, it's going to save this value as a variable. And it's going to allow us to do whatever we want with this while we're looping through it. And then it's going to move on to the next loop, right? Um, so that's the second type of for loop. Now, the first type of for loop, the one where you loop just a certain number of times, is you do for, and then you make a variable name. And so this variable name is going to be equal to the number of times that you've already looped. Um, yeah, so what I, so like usually people just name this I, but you can name this anything. You can name, you can name this like variable that tracks amounts. Uh, like obviously you can, you can do that, but like that, why would you do that? Just do for I, okay? For I equals one. So this is where your loop will start. So the moment your loop begins, I is going to be equal to the first number you put here. And this doesn't have to be one. This can be like 20. This can be 100, right? But the smart thing to do would just be to do one and then comma, and then specify the end goal. Like when do you want the loop to end? So if you want your loop to run, let's say five times, then you would put five. There we go. Yeah. So four, four I equals one, five, and then you say do, and then you do enter. So what this does is it says, okay, so basically we're going to loop like from, you know, I equals one. And then every loop, we're just going to be adding on one to I until it reaches five. So, so this is going to loop five times. So if I let's right now print I, and then I run the game, what's going to happen is that, yeah, so it prints one and then it prints two and then it prints three and then it prints four and then it prints five. And the reason it does this is because it's looping through. So first it loops and then I is one. So it prints out I, which is one. Then it loop, it, then it loops again and adds one to I. So now it's two. Then loops again. Now I is three. Loops again. Now I is four. Loops again. Now I is five. And then because now it's five and that that's our like cap, then it then it stops, right? Now also it's worth noting that like this doesn't have to be one, right? This could be two, right? And then if this is two, then we're just going to not have a one. Then it's just going to be two, three, four, five. Yeah, there we go. Two, three, four, five. So you you can actually specify like when it begins. Um, yeah, so this can be yeah, one. This can be like a hundred. But, but what if you want it to go up not by one, but by two? Or what if you actually want to do a thing where like it goes backwards? So what if you want to have it from go from 10 to one, right? How do you do that? Because like that's not going to work. Because by default, it adds one. The way you do this is you, you just add another comma after the second number and then you add a third number and then this third third number just basically um tells you like like how much are you adding to the i every loop and then i can just do negative one so what this means is that every loop we're going to subtract one from i and so if we're starting on 10 and ending on one then we're going to start 10 and then it's going to subtract neg negative one from 10 which is going to be nine and then it's going to be eight and it's going to be seven yeah and then it's going to go all the way down to one and it doesn't have to be negative one. It could be like negative two as well. 
right? So no, nothing, nothing is, is stopping us. Yeah, so 10, 8, 6, 4, 2. And it, it doesn't go to 0 because that, like, 0 is less than 1, right? So it's not going to go to 0. Um, yeah, but then usually you would, you, you would just want to do this. And then you could do, like, a 2. And then it's going to go up by 2, right? So it's going to be 1, 3, 5, 7, yeah, 7, 9, blah, blah. Yeah, so, so, so these are the three basic numbers, right? This is where you start. This is where you end. And this is how much the I it changes by every single loop. But you, you, like, if you don't have a third number, by default, it's just going to be one. Um, yeah, so that's that. And then the second type of for loop is, like I said, where we loop through a table. So one, two, three, hello, well, whatever, right? Maybe you can have any table. Um, then you do for I comma V. Okay, so just bear with me. Again, I can be anything you, you want to name it. V can be anything you want to name it, but I'm just going to finish the loop and I'm going to explain what these are. For IV in table var do. Okay, so what I represent, if, if, we're, if we're doing a table, okay, so if this isn't a dictionary, if this is just a table, then I will represent the um, number of times we've already looped. So the first loop, I is going to be one. Second time we loop, I is going to be two. And then third time we loop, I is going to be three, right? So I is like, like the amount of times we've looped through the table. And then V is just whatever we're looping through in the table, right? So as we're looping through the table, we're going to loop three times. And every time we loop, V is just whatever we're looping through. So the first, the first loop, V is going to be equal to one, two, three. Then the second time, V is going to be equal to hello. Third time, V is going to be equal to false. And so I can just print out V, right? And then I can actually print out I as well. So I'll print out I and then I'll print out V. And then what we're going to see is, yeah, so one, one, two, three, two, hello, three, false, right? So one, two, three, hello, false. Awesome. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's effectively it. There, there's actually one last thing. I sometimes uh, might not be a number. And it might not be a number if you actually chain, change this table from a table into a dictionary. And the way you do this, by the way, right, is let, let, let me just show you, right? Um, if I were to print out table var right now, right? So I'm just going to, um, I, I mean, I'll, I'll have the loop. It's not going to do anything, but I'll have it, right? If I print out table var, so we're going to see how table var looks. If you see, it actually doesn't look like what we wrote here, right? It has this box on it. So it's, a, it's still a table. But it's saying, okay, it has these square brackets for some reason. And it's saying, okay, one is equal to one, two, three. Two is equal to hello. And three is equal to false, right? But we didn't write it like this. So we only wrote one, two, three, hello, false. We didn't actually write, you know, this one, this two, or this three. Well, the reason is in Roblox, every single table uh, kind of operates like this. So it has a key. So the people call this a key. It has a key, which is equal to a value. Now, by default, um, if you don't, you know, do any of any of this like square bracket, if, if all you do is just give the table values, then by default, Roblox will make this key equal to a number, right? And like with every new value, the number is going to go up. So the key for this is one. The key for this is two. And the key for this is three, right? Um, and so knowing this, we can actually fully know how this works. Because I actually isn't the amount of times we've looped. I is just equal to the key. And V is equal to the value. Which is why which is why if you're just using a table, then I will be equal to the number, right? Because the key is the number. And then V is going to be equal to the value. But then if we want to, like, if we make a dictionary, and a dictionary is just, we make a table that looks like this, but instead of one, two, three, we make our own key. Because that is allowed, right? So what I could do is I could say, okay, you know, I'll... I'll just hit enter just because it's easier. You don't have to do it like this, right? But then I do the score brackets and I can say like, um, I don't know, key one, right? You can you can you can literally put whatever you want in here, and then key one is equal to one two three. And then I can do okay, then key two is equal to hello. Again, you don't have to make this equal to key two. You don't have to make this equal to a straight. Like you can make this literally anything you want, right? And then I can say okay, then key um, Q1000, why not, right? Q1000 is equal to false. There we go. So what we've just done is we've made 
a table that has the exact same values, but different keys. So now uh, whenever we loop, I will be equal to the key. So if I print out I right now as we're looping through the table, it's going to print out the keys. So key one, key 1000, key two. As you can see, it's not like really ordered, um, which might be an issue, right? Um, and I think the reason it's not ordered is because like it goes by numerical value. So it, it's a one. So I think if I think if I change this to be a three, then it's going to run in order. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so key, key, no, not not even then. That's actually very interesting. Um, yeah, so if I print out the V, yeah, so I'm, I'm not too sure why it's not running in order. Um, but yeah, one, two, three, false, hello. Um, so that's, that's kind of the idea here, right? Um, when you're looping through a table, I is going to be equal to the key, which by default is going to be a number if you don't, you know, change it. And then V is just the value of the table. Um, and if, if you're like still struggling to understand the value of this, um, a table can just be like something like that's in. So let me show you, right? What if, what if I wanted to make a script, which will print me the name of every single like item inside of the workspace? What I can do is I can say workspace colon get children. And what get children does is it returns a table, which is going to be full of the children of, you know, whatever item this is. So workspace get children. So the children of workspace says camera, terrain, spawn location, and base plate. And so it's going to take all of these values. It's going to stuff them into a table and it's going to give us a table. So I can say, okay, then V or no print V. Okay. So, <laughs> and then it's going to tell us, okay, get camera, base plate, terrain, spawn location. So that's kind of the idea of looping, right? You don't, you don't really want to loop through an actual table that you create. You usually want to loop through the actual like in-game items, right? That's usually what loops are used for. But yeah, if, if you're if you're still struggling, you know, feel free to leave a comment. I'm sure me or someone else will help you out. If I got something wrong, make sure to absolutely annihilate, annihilate me in the comments, you know, dox my location, whatever. Um, <laughs> if you found this valuable, I do have a course. So in, in the comments, I'll link it. So you might want to check that out. Um, join the Discord in the description, blah, blah, blah. And we are back to basics. Thank you for watching.